I'm a simple man. I like pretty dark-haired women and breakfast food. But this stock photo I bought at a framing store isn't real. Today, I got the real thing. A naked Tammy made me breakfast this morning. Oh, I should have taken a picture of it. Leslie, you know I'm not sexist. I love powerful women. You do attend a shocking number of WNBA games. So your arrangement with Wendy, it really was completely platonic? Yeah, never so much as even kissed. Except for a little peck at the wedding ceremony for appearances. Uh, now that you're getting divorced, I sort of feel like there may be some potential with me and Wendy. Would it be okay with you if I was to ask her out once the fake dust settles? Yeah, um, why not? Sure. Looking at her, I, I feel like she might be the perfect spooning size for me. I'm gonna take a leak. If you're here to complain about the pothole, I guarantee I did it correctly. Actually, I'm here to ask you out for dinner. Really? Well, I hope you're not the kind of man who needs to ask the lady out. I'm a middle school vice principal. I don't screw around. Does that freak you out? No, on the contrary. So dinner? Please and thank you. Well, it'll be casual. No need to wear makeup. I begrudgingly admit that the 311 program is a moderate success. I'm still not sure why the citizen decided to come speak with me in person, but I'm just happy to see a government program finally work. Strippers do nothing for me. I like a strong, salt-of-the-earth, self-possessed woman at the top of her field. Your Steffi Graffs, your Cheryl Swoopses. But I will take a free breakfast buffet anytime, any place. Whale tail. Whale tail. She's flashing a whale tail. Abort, abort, abort. Hello, Tammy. Oh, hello, Ron. I didn't see you come in. I was just checking myself for scoliosis. And? Straight as an arrow. Just like somebody else I know. Jerky? Call off the dogs. You and I both know that in my entire adult life, I have never checked a book out of the library. Oh my god, she's amazing. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> mm. I admit there was a time when that sort of behavior would have driven me wild. But I am in a healthy relationship now, Tammy. A relationship? With whom? A lovely, intelligent, self-possessed pediatric surgeon named Wendy. Sounds like a real whore. They're getting really old, and I'm an only child. I just feel like the right thing to do is to move back home. I'm sorry to see you go. I've really come to think of you as a companion. At this very moment, Leslie is throwing herself in front of a freight train named Tammy. For me, and you. Leslie is a wonderful, loyal friend who is very important in my life. But I would sooner visit Europe than have something romantic happen between us. Although, if you'd like to visit Europe, I like you so much I'd be willing to risk it. But not France, right? God, no. See, you know me pretty well already. <laughs> it's been like this for hours. Hey, Swanson! Snap out of it! Leslie! Congratulate us. Look, Ron's got one just like it on his penis. Oh, yeah. What the hell happened to you? Well... I got it! You may now kiss the bride. Mm. 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 Mm.
Yeah. It's been kind of a crazy night. This award is the only one I'd ever give a damn about. I made my first chair when I was five, but the quality of the wood was wanting, so when I turned nine, I used my factory wages to purchase some beautiful local walnut. Uh, thank you. For this, uh, this all good, night good. Uh, there it is. You need to fix this. It's not that bad. Nobody got hurt. It's extremely bad. I love this woman, and I just want to show her that I'm capable of watching her children without something horrible happening. What? Did you just say you love Diane? No, I did not. Yes, you did. That is so cute. For God's sake, Hanson, will you please focus on the larger problem? <laughs> Girls, girls, I don't know what you think you heard, but please don't tell your mother what you incorrectly think you heard. Ron loves mommy. Ron loves mommy. I love nothing! <laughs> okay, here's what I'm thinking. I was gonna wait until our anniversary, take you somewhere romantic, perhaps in a canoe, most likely in a canoe. I actually built a canoe for that purpose, but given the news, and given my significant feelings for you, now seems as good a time as any. Ron Swanson. Diane Lewis. Will you marry me? Yes. On one condition. Anything, my love. Ask me for anything in the world and I'll give it to you. Except a destination wedding. Just the opposite. We've both been married before. I don't want anything big or elaborate. In fact, the smaller, the better. I assume you can deal with that. Are you kidding? As far as I'm concerned, we could go up to the fourth floor right now. Ladies and gentlemen, and especially the ladies, put your hands together for the one, the only, my man, Mr. Duke Silver. <laughs> A mighty fine holiday evening to you all. It might be cold outside, but it's about to get warm all up in my jazz. <laughs> I, of course, am Duke Silver, and I would like to dedicate this first song to my duchess. You're so lucky. I'm going to kill you.